Niraj, we never get to do videos together. What's up, man? Brad, big news today. Big news. What's up? Microsoft announced Fabric uh, go uh, public preview today in Microsoft Build. Ooh, we are talking about Fabric today. Next on Tales from the Field. This is your first time making it over to Tales from the Field. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We make content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Tuesdays, we go live on data communities at 1 p.m. EST, uh, talking about the data blocks that you created and uh, discuss it out. Listen to this guy. So polished, so smooth. That's right. <laughs> and then on every Monday and Wednesday, we have MS Tech Bits, which you're watching right now. This is anything that we've discovered, we've learned that we want to help teach you or that we may have helped a customer with. Let's get over to that content right now. Yep. So, Naraj, how do I get started with Fabric? Open up your browser, uh, Brad, and type in app.fabric.microsoft.com. App.fabric.microsoft.com. Got it. And once you uh, authenticate yourself, you need to start the free trial for 60 days. You okay. Now, I've already authenticated, and I've got a free trial. I've got 47 left. So what do I do? So you need to go to the workspace and start a brand new workspace on the left-hand side. Okay. So I can't use a pre-existing one. New workspace. Yep, type in the name uh, in there, Brad and Niraj demo or something. Uh, then you go, one thing that you do to advance and make sure you select the trial version of it. Uh, that's right. where you can go in there. And Brad Because only the up. trial is, is going to have fabric. And then I add you to my workspace, right? Workspace, yep. And then just press apply. Somehow it doesn't look good. Oh, you, do, you need to have a unique name. So make sure you have a unique name on the top. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me scroll back up. Yep, I've already used this one before. So let me add an S, Brad Naraj's demo. And then just say apply. There we go. There's my apply button. I'm going to click that. And you are in Trident now. You are able to- Boom, we have Fabric. Yep. All right. So Brad, uh, I think, thank you everyone for watching this video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a second, Naraj. You, we got to play around with this. We, we, we can't just you know create a, a Fabric workspace and then walk away from it. Let, let me do something. Uh, okay. Let's try it out. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll just do, I'll just do a little bit though. We won't get too far into it this time. So here, let me go over to my workspace. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do in our workspace is I'm going to click on the new button. So that way we can create our data warehouse. I click show all and there's our data warehouse. I'm just going to click this. Let's name it something simple. Worldwide importers, even though I don't usually use this data set, let's use this. And then I'm just going to click create. This will be nice and easy and quick. Okay, we've got our data warehouse. Now I need to ingest data. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go back over to our workspace. I'm going to click new. I'm going to go back to show all, and I'm going to get a data pipeline. I'm going to click on this, and I'll name this something simple like load customer data. Now that's enough. And then I click create. Now I can add a pipeline activity. I'm going to say copy data. We'll change this to kind of be a, a statement of what it is. So this is going to be CD load dimension underscore customer. There we go, if I could type. And then I'm going to go configure our source. I'm going to say new. And you see, I've got a lot to choose from, but I'm going to go to Azure Blob Storage. I'm going to put in a URL. Now, I've already used this URL before. And what I love is it's smart enough to say, look, you've already got a connection. I'm just going to choose that connection and go, okay, so no way it'll let me create a duplicate connection. Now that I've got my link to my storage, I'm gonna put in the information for my container, um, and then I'm going to put in my information for my directory, and then I'm going to put in my file name. We're gonna make it uh, dimension underscore customer parquet. Then I need to change the file type, so that way it is parquet as well. Now we need to configure our dimension. So I'll go over and I'll click on dimension and I'm gonna change this to data warehouse. I'm going to select our data warehouse worldwide importers that we've already created. I'm going to click edit because I wanna create a table where this data is gonna load. So I'm gonna specify the schema, DBO dimension underscore customer. And then I'm gonna click advanced and I'm going to click the option button to auto create the table for me. Now I'm ready to run. When I run, I'm gonna be prompted to save and run. And of course I wanna save this pipeline. 
And then it's going to kick off. It's going to begin running. The process will begin. We queue up. Uh, and then my copy data will begin. And very quickly, you can see we have our data. Now, I'm going to go back over to our workspace. And in our workspace, I can see I have a data set uh, for my data warehouse now. So if I click on this, I don't have to build a report from scratch. I can say visualize this data for me, auto create, and it's going to take a look at that data set and it's going to create a Power BI report based off of this for me. Look at this fully configurable Power BI report. It's got relationships. I can click on visualizations. They, they impact one another. I can click save. I'm going to save this as my customer um, quick summary. You can see I've done that before, right? And then I'm going to click save. It will take this Power BI report and now this is saved to our workspace. So if I come back over to our workspace and I click on that, Wow, look, there is customer quick summary right there in seconds from load to report. Oh my God, uh, Brad, this was a cool demo, man. You just went from uh, like ingestion to uh, visualization in like a few minutes. That's, that's cool. I know it's crazy, right? In not even five minutes, I can ingest data. I can process it through a pipeline. I can have a report saved. And from there, I could edit the report however I want. I, it is just mind blowing how easy this is to be able to consume our data and go end to end. I can't wait to play around with this a little bit more. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I'm really excited to now start playing around with this. Absolutely. Now, there's there's one very important note that we need to give because we started off talking about how people can opt into the preview by signing mm -hmm. into their Power BI uh, portal. But I'm going to let you take this one away. So uh, on the admin portal, uh, as an admin, you would have to go and make sure that you enable this whole uh, fabric thing. Uh, most of the users might not be able to do it, so you need to reach out to your tenant admin and ask him to enable this up to use this up. This is something that we forgot in the beginning. So yeah, something that you should take care of it. Well, and to be fair, we're, we're not the tenants in, in our Power AI admin Correct. tenant had to opt in a long time ago, so that way we could begin working with this with the product group. So. Uh, amazing stuff. Make sure that you are your tenant initialized so that way that you can log in, you can create your free trial, and you can begin working with Microsoft Fabric. Any, anything else I'm forgetting, my friend? No. We will have more demos or more videos on this uh, pretty soon. But yeah, this is, a, uh, this is really exciting now. Excellent. All right, everybody. Take care of one another. Have a good week. We'll see you later. Thanks for joining us until next week. Aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, but it's